Hey girl. Okay, so I have a story. Two days ago, I cut my hair out. Um, I did the big chop. And what happened was, I went into the bathroom and I grabbed the scissors and then just started cutting my hair. Um, like, I don't even remember the reasoning behind it. I just did it. So, um, okay, what happened was, I grabbed, like, some sections on the right side of my hair and I started clipping them and then I just kept, kept clipping but I feel like I blacked out because I don't remember doing the rest of my hair like I just remember at the end like feeling my hair and being like yo I just cut all my relaxer off so I've been transitioning for about a year um, which is a long time because some people they transition for two months some people don't even transition at all so a year can be a lot or a little to some so anyway um, I transitioned and I wanted to cut my hair last week I actually started making a video about cutting my hair I actually started doing my big chop video because I was going to record every single aspect of it but I didn't record anything at all. The only thing I have is two pictures that I took. Um, one picture is very flattering. The next picture is not. Maybe both aren't flattering. I don't know. But um, I took those two pictures. So after I cut my hair, felt like my hair felt that I had nothing at all. I text my best friend. And I text a couple other people. And I'm like, yo, bitch, I just cut my hair off. And she's like, let me see. She wants to see a picture. And I'm like, no. Because if y'all would have saw what I looked like. Mm. So anyway, I did send her a picture. I'm like, yo, you know what? I'll Skype with you. So then she got on Skype. Like, it seems like in the next one second or something. I don't know. So then she called me and I answered because it was like, she called me. My mom had called me like half a second ago. So, um, she called me and I didn't answer. Then I called her back while I was on the phone with my mom. Anyway, basically, the, the, the story goes as she saw my hair and she's like, oh, snap. She told me she liked it, but I don't know if, um, she was telling the truth. Hey, whatever. So, then she was like, you always change your hair, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. She told me it fit me and I was like, okay. I mean, it is what it is. Um. So, let me regroup. Basically, after that, um, I told my best friend, okay, after that, I waited, and I was trying to do something with my hair. Like, I was trying to curl it, I mean, like, with gel and stuff, but it wasn't working. I had an appointment for my micro braids yesterday anyway so i'm like it's cool i'm just going to wait and get my braids done and just leave it alone so that's my big chop story it's not really as emotional um and as life-changing as some people's mainly because i just went in the bathroom and started cutting it i could have turned my camera on at any moment but i guess it wasn't meant to be so I still have a bag of my hair. I saved most of my hair. Um, the hair that was like on the ground, just like sitting there, I did not save. It's crazy because this hair is still wet and it smells so good. It smells like Cantu Shea Butter. So this is the amount of hair that I, that I uh, saved, I put in a Ziploc bag. So it was only two days ago. It's just weird that it's still wet, but whatever. And so that's my big chop story. I'll share the two pictures that I did take at the end of this video. But hopefully this video is inspirational to some people. Because I was scared to do my big chop. And I guess one day I just woke up like, come on, Jay. You can do this. So I did. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll share the two pictures right now. Peace out.